What do you do when she's not having sex with you anymore? Now, we're going to talk about like when you're in a marriage, right? When your wife is just, it's once a month, it's once a year, and you can't take it. You've thought about an affair. Um, you're definitely being a lot friendlier to the women around you. You're spending a lot of your time looking at other pretty girls on your phone and you don't want to confront the fact that maybe the relationship's over or maybe, just maybe, it's worth saving if you do this. I'm so grateful that you're here. If you are new, make sure you subscribe and like this video because it will help me tremendously on my YouTube channel. Help me help you and for my reoccurring viewers. I'm so grateful for you. You guys just make me smile so big. Know that you're loved and I'm grateful to have your presence here. Listen, when a woman is not having sex with a man, she has not just shut down to you, she's shut down to herself as well. And a lot of people miss this big fact. They just go, oh, she's not having sex with a guy, so she's angry at him. There's unresolved issues. Yes, that's definitely the case. But what you don't realize is there's also something shut down inside of her because news alert, uh, sex is a great thing. Pleasure is a wonderful thing. And when your woman is not receiving pleasure, she's not enjoying a healthy sex life with you, there's something going on inside of her, even outside of the marriage. Maybe there's a part of her that's died inside and so she no longer feels that. You know, when a woman, I'm just gonna give you the why and then I'm gonna help you get the answer. So. When a woman feels betrayed, by the way, I do need to put in here, um, if you do need help with this and you are concerned about your marriage and you are not sure if it's salvageable um, or it's gone too far too long and you need to roll up your sleeves, put on some elbow grease and do some work, uh, then reach out to me for coaching. Go to my website, purchase some coaching, and let's get your marriage on the right track. Let's get your relationship on the right track. And as always, I have uh, products on my website, online programs. All of my courses are video courses, so it, it's just kind of this sort of style. So if you're needing help uh, in your relationship, make sure that you go to my website and go to my online courses to better support you. So when a woman shuts down inside, most of the time, I'm going to tell you the truth, we shut down because we feel betrayed. We might say that we're angry. We might have a lot of resentment towards you, but ultimately somewhere in the relationship, we have felt betrayal. And then most of the time as a woman, we'll also punish ourselves. Somehow this is my fault. How did I let it get this far? How did I let him disrespect me? How did I let him neglect me? How did I let him take me for granted? And so the root of it is, is betrayal. And so when you look at it, when you look at repairing your relationship so that you guys can get your sex life back, so that you can get your intimacy back, when you look at it through that lens, that gives you a whole different perspective. You may be watching this right now and thinking, Erica, I didn't even think of it like that. Listen, betrayal will bring out the worst in all of us, but the thing that we don't really know about betrayal is it actually severs our connection with ourselves. So not only is a connection severed within the relationship between you two, but she's also feeling highly disconnected to herself. So the simplest way that you can do this and I say simple, meaning this is what you say. The execution on this is sometimes tricky, I'll be honest with you, because you don't know how she's gonna respond and you don't know how you're gonna handle it if she doesn't respond in a favorable way. This is where it's tricky. But the simple solution is to sit down and talk and say, I need to know where in our relationship have you felt betrayed by me? 
Don't talk about the disconnection because then she can go in a 20 different directions. Hit the nail on the head. Where in our relationship have you felt betrayed by me? Because I want to mend that right now and I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Now to a man, this may seem very counterintuitive, but have that conversation with her and watch the tears fall. Maybe watch some of the anger fall, but below the anger is hurt, is sadness, is fear. Be willing to have that courageous conversation and begin to start saving your relationship and getting you guys back to a place where you can enjoy that intimacy that you once had long before. Reach out to me for coaching. In the comments section, let me know if this was insightful for you. I wanna hear. So I've got these other videos to support you. Know that I'm here, know that you're not alone, and if the ride gets a little bit bumpy when you have these conversations, that is to be expected. Reach out for my Boundaries Bible, my Compliments Bible, they're both on my website. These will give you some scripts to say to start repairing things. Know that you're loved, and my darling, you have what it takes.